students we have the next topic in the chapter alcohol phenols and ethers the topic is sol reaction of propanone and methyl magnesium bromide as soon as i see this methyl magnesium bromide you all know that it is called as grignard's reagent it is called as grignard's reagent now first as soon as you see that it is grignard's reagent we should be knowing the mechanism of the grignard's reagent so first let me teach you the general mechanism then we will be applying on this particular example the general mechanism is the grignard reagent reacts with carbonyl group we all know that carbonyl group is c double bond o which is present in both aldehydes and ketones so grignard's reagent is comfortable with aldehydes and ketones this is treated with R N G X that is the general representation for Grignard's reagent. R N G X. R is an alkyl group. N G is magnesium and X is a halide. What you should do first? We all know that there is a mechanism, but I am going to teach you a shortcut way. That is, first break the double bond. We all know that oxygen is found to be electronegative, whereas carbon is found to be electropositive. Similarly, out of R N G X, there is a break between R and N G because of its weaker bond nature. Now, what I should do? We all know that N G is plus and R is minus. I repeat, carbon is plus here, oxygen is minus, whereas here R is minus, whereas N G is plus. I am just going to exchange the ions. So let me do that. R will be added to carbon. because it is positive and mgx will be added to magnesium so that oxygen is electronegative in nature as a result we get the final answer uh, based on this uh, changes it will be r attached to carbon o because oxygen double bond will become single bond here and then mgx So this is a, like an intermediate, and this intermediate always Grignard reagent is followed by hydrolysis. In hydrolysis, we have H plus and OH minus. So as a result, there is a bond break between oxygen and magnesium, where H is received by oxygen and OH is received by magnesium. So finally, the answer will become C with R and OH plus Mg. O H X. So this is the general mechanism of Grignard's reagent with the carbonyl group. So based on the same mechanism, this is a mechanism which we have done it generally. Now we are going to apply that on the example asked, that is propanone and methyl magnesium bromide. Propanone, methyl magnesium bromide, break of the double bond. Methyl is added to carbon, MgBr to oxygen. So now we need to write the correct structure. That is, this carbon is holding one, two, three methyl groups. Then followed by there is an oxygen on the other end with MgBr. So this will be your intermediate step. Now followed by hydrolysis. This compound is subjected to hydrolysis. The break takes place between oxygen and magnesium bond, where H is added here and OH over here. So the final answer will become CH three C. That same thing you need to copy. Only the change is OH plus Mg OH. We have Br on the other side. So this is how. we get the final answer using the grignard reagent mechanism and the name of the compound will be you know how to number it 
that is longest carbon chain with a side chain here methyl so it will be called as 2 methyl 2 methyl propen 2 all the most important thing to notice here is propanone has 1 2 3 carbons propanone has 1 2 3 carbons the reactant whereas the final product has 1 2 3 4 so this is what you have to keep in mind the reactant and the product in the Grignard's reagent there is an increase in the carbon so whenever during conversion if you find anything increase in the carbon definitely you have to think of Grignard's reagent's mechanism thank you students